Well, as Mary now said, I went on into the Texas legislature. We did get that law changed. We do have a reasonably decent concealed carry law now in the state of Texas that I hope we continue to improve. I also went out and I wrote Shameless Plug book. Now, unfortunately, I've already sold out of these books over there. And by the way, Bruce, whoever Bruce is, I've got your book. You paid for it and left it on the table. But the reason I wrote this book, folks, is for you all to be able to go out and change the laws. Not just with the federal government, but with your state governments and your local governments as well. It gives you all the hints, all the ideas for dealing with the media and dealing with your legislative things, your Congress things. It tells you how to do that. And let me tell you, anybody here a concealed carry permit holder? Don't raise your hand, just pretend. Okay? We don't know who's watching. But there's something else you have to worry about. Regardless of the law, you might have a district attorney that happens to hate the law. You might have a prosecuting attorney or a sheriff or a local uh, police chief that happens to hate the idea that you use your Second Amendment rights. Just this last week, I purchased an insurance plan. Did you know that insurance is available for this stuff now? It'll cover your legal fees for pittance. It's called Concealed Handgun License Protection Plan. I urge you to go look at it and buy it. It's cheap insurance, and if one of these jerks ever nabs you, at least your legal fees are going to be covered. Now, let me share just a couple other things with you. Let's just think about this for a minute. Let's think about all of these horrendous mass shootings that have occurred in the last 20 years. We have the Lubies shooting. Oh, wait a minute. That couldn't have happened because people weren't allowed to carry guns in restaurants. How could that have happened? There was Columbine. There was Springfield. There was Pearl, Mississippi. There was the daycare center, the Jewish daycare center. Well, how, how could mass shootings occur in those places? Because those weren't allowed there. The Amish. Oh, there was the Amish Center. Thank you. There was the oh, Virginia oh. Tech. There were post offices. There was one of my personal favorites. There was the Xerox factory in Hawaii that on the, on the uh, media, on the TV that night, they showed the front door. Had a big red circle with a gun with a slash through it. Did the bad guy pay attention to that? No. So, if guns are the problem, somebody tell me why we haven't seen these mass shootings at, oh, I don't know, NRA conventions. Gun shows. Gun shows. How about the dreaded gun show or the dreaded Second Amendment rally? In other places, there are people, thousands of people, carrying as many guns, and yet no one gets injured. Hmm. If guns are the problem, somebody explain that to me. These areas where guns are not allowed are the most dangerous places in our country. Amen. Now, we don't have a whole lot of time as speakers, so I'm going to share a couple of things with you very briefly. I talked about mass shootings. But the fact of the matter is, there's a lot of people here that have been victims, personal victims of personal one-on-one -on -one crime. And yes, a gun is a nice little thing to have in your bag for protection. It's not the only thing, and it's not a guarantee, is it? No. But it sure as heck changes the odds. I will tell you this also. I would much rather be sitting in jail with a felony offense on my head and have my parents alive to know their grandchildren. I would please urge you to go to my website. It's an easy one, SusannaHupp.com. Purchase this book. This book was designed for the people in your life, your neighbors and your friends and your sisters and your daughters that are squeamish about guns. You know, it's like they just don't really know how they feel about guns. I understand. I get it. That's who this gun was, or that's who this book was made for. That and those of you that want to make changes in your law.